Port Alberni has been called the Valley of Trails for the multitude of trails and trail networks crisscrossing our valley. Recently, we asked locals on social media to share their favorite hiking trails. This is the top 10 hikes in Port Alberni. Number 10, Stokes Falls. Our first hiking trail is located on the outer edge of Port Alberni. The 1.4 kilometer hike leads down to, you guessed it, Stokes Creek Falls. The best time to visit this trail is shortly after heavy rain because the waterfalls have more power behind them. Even if you hit up the trail on a dry day, you will still be amazed by the thick, moss-covered trees guiding you along. A few small bridges over creeks adds to the dreamy feel of this trail. Stokes Falls is easy to hike and has a majestic waterfall prize at the end. Can you believe this is only spot number 10? The Alberni Valley is rich in hiking trails, so let's continue with our number 9 pick. Number 9, Fossley Park. On your way to Sprout Lake, why not stop at Fossley Park? The 52 hectare park contains a walking trail that travels through a second growth forest to an old homestead on the beach. This trail takes about 30 minutes to complete and is beginner friendly. Oh, did we mention there's a suspension bridge? The bridge crosses St. Andrews Creek and is a total hit for kids. Number eight, Maplehurst. Those out in Cherry Creek already know about Maplehurst Trail, so we'll spill the beans to the rest of you. This four kilometer route takes about two hours to complete and varies a little bit with its interlocking loops. You'll mainly see maple and alder trees, enormous ferns, and the Katsuxas Creek making the occasional appearance. Kids love this trail because of all the hidden surprises it holds. Knickknacks left by previous visitors like painted rocks and toy figurines are carefully placed so walking on the trail feels like a treasure hunt. Number seven, Weiner Falls. Weiner Falls is a bit of a challenge to get down to the falls. That's right, you'll be going down a slope to get to the base of the waterfalls. Some parts are steep, but there are ropes to help you get down and back up again. Although you can see the falls from above, taking the time to get down to the base allows for an outstanding perspective. Standing at the base of the waterfall, gazing upwards is an amazing experience. The energy and sounds of the water crashing into the pool will surely invigorate you to make the climb back up the hill. Number six, the Log Train Trail. What started as a railroad has now become one of the most well-known trails in the Alberni Valley. The wide, flat trail has many access points along the 25 kilometer stretch, making it convenient to hop on and hop off anytime. As the trail has some length to it, it passes by a variety of scenery. The historic McLean Mill, Cold Creek Waterfalls, and the beautiful Beaufort Range are some of the sights along the way. Number five, Stamp Falls. Do you love waterfalls and salmon? Even if you're thinking, what's the big deal about fish? This trail will change your mind. A visit to Stamp Falls during the salmon spawning season will leave you in awe of the sheer number of fish rushing upstream. Even if you aren't into fish, Stamp River and Stamp Falls are a sight to behold at any time of the year. Up 
Upstream from the falls is another trail that gives you the rare opportunity to walk through massive old growth forests along the banks of a beautiful river. Number four, China Creek Falls. Can you tell we love our waterfalls? China Creek Falls is another hit with a bit more challenge. We suggest trying this one out in the summer because the pool is a fantastic place to swim. Large rocks make it easy to dry off and relax. It's like going on a hike to have a mini getaway in the forest. Number three, hole in the wall. The hole in the wall is a hidden treasure. A large hole was drilled through a rock formation in preparation for a water pipeline to the city. The pipe is long gone, so now the hole is part of a tranquil water feature. It is a relatively easy hike and doesn't take much time to get to the star attraction. We love it because of its accidental charm. Where else is an abandoned pipeline hole this picturesque? Number two, Rogers Creek Trail. You may have seen signs for this one as you've driven by on the Alberti Highway. It is close to town and suitable for beginners and families. Roger Creek's trail takes about an hour and a half to complete and in that time you will be greeted by dense forest, mossy rocks, birds chirping and an abundance of plant and animal life. Number 1 The Alberni Inlet Trail The Alberni Inlet Trail is a moderately difficult hike divided into several phases. We love this trail because it has everything you'd want in a hike. Forest, water, a challenge, and exceptional views. Plus, it is one of the most peaceful trails because it isn't used as much as the others on this list. Viewing stations are sprinkled throughout the trail and the first one overlooks the city of Port Alberni, looking northward. What goes up must come down and hikers will also find themselves at the beach of the Alberni Inlet. The combination of waterfront access, exceptional views, and the challenge of the hike itself makes this the best hiking trail in Port Alberni. Number 2. 